everyone, and welcome back to our Star Wars figure review. Um, today, uh, well, before I start, I want to give a shout out to a friend I've known for a long time. Um, yeah, we're pretty close. Um, and that's uh, he, um, that's John, aka the Drummer Eleven. He also reviews Star Wars stuff, and uh, so go check out his channel pretty cool and the reason I'm giving a shout out to him is because the figure I'm about to review um, if it wasn't for his help um, in finding this figure well I wouldn't have been able to review it but that figure today which I am reviewing is um, Commander Gree of Wave 6 of the Clone Wars I believe Wave 6 um, Commander Gree is seen in uh, of course, this is the Clone Wars version of his armor. Um, of course, he's also seen Episode 3, and in the Clone Wars, he's in uh, the end of Bombad Jedi and uh, Dark, uh, Cloak of Darkness. Um, but yeah, as you can see, he's wearing the Clone Wars armor. And um, so, he's also, uh, his clone name is, as I believe, is. CC Clone Commander dash one zero zero four. So, but anyway, on to I guess detail. He is just a basic clone trooper body. Nothing really new about his um, body. Um, helmet same as always. Um, helmet is removable, of course. He uh, has this little. Uh, double mo mohawk type thing going on and it uh, his mohawk is kinda red so I don't know maybe as if he dyed his hair red so oh. that's what his head looks like in the front in the back his head is pretty detailed well actually not that much but the only detail is the hair and uh... you can see a little um, time put into the detail and those wrinkles above his eyes. Put his helmet back on. It is of course new sculpt, uh, new, it's not that much new anymore, but it uses this uh, same sculpt of helmet uh, as new ones, I guess, uh, yeah. Um, he has those little lines on his helmet, just as every other clone trooper. I'm not really going to go through much of what he, uh, detail he has, because pretty much, uh, now you probably, really, probably know, so. Yeah. He has this, uh, this color scheme, um, I call it green, uh, pine tree green. At least is what I call it. Uh, on his thighs chest, shoulders, and arms, and his helmet. So, um, for accessories, as you can see already, he has this uh, DC-15 blaster rifle. Nothing special about it. And his holster on his side, which the holster is not removable from his belt or whatever you may call it. But on the side in his holster, he has one DC-17 uh, hand blaster. Just like uh, other clone troopers are have. And now they're making a lot of the clone troopers have those. And also, the main play feature for this and coolest accessory for the Commander Gree figure would be this missile launcher. <clears throat> it is a new missile launcher and um, it's okay detailed. It's just black paint scheme. It has some detail around the end of it. it has this little, uh, I think that's to aim at stuff. That's how they uh, their sight and their aim is. And of course it does fire by pressing the little button on the top. Um, I'm not sure if I want to fire it though. I always uh, kind of goes all over the place. Now that these are more strong, it's harder to tell where they're going to end up. But you know, you're all just so yeah, it fires. 
missile is just normal missile as pretty much all uh, Republic firing things firing things come with is this missile okay detailed now um in uh, in the picture though of this of the commander Gree, um he is supposed to have the new chain gun in the picture is what he has is that but I don't know I guess they decided to give him this instead and I'm actually glad they did because so far I already have three of those chain guns and I only have two of these so it's pretty cool back to the figure also for uh, accessories and also detail he does have this little strap type thing going around him which you can remove all you have to do is uh, pop off his head wait a minute Shh. Oi. I'm gonna, about to take it off uh. Oi. here it is here's the little strap um only de uh, th it's pretty detailed kinda looks like a belt if you have it like this but it's a strap I don't know what he has but it has these little really really tiny holes in the front of it and up above it is I don't know could be cartridges just molded in really really thin you know here's the back of it also some just barely any detail but there still is a couple lines and stuff like that also, look, I'll show you him without the strap. That's what he looks like. Kind of looks like on the back where that line in the circle is. They painted it in the circle. They painted it gray in there. So that's kind of a little different from all the other clone troopers. So that's just something to. That's something pretty recognizable about this figure. Let me get everything back on him. So, here he is with it back on. So, and I guess for articulation, he has a ball jointed head, <clears throat> ball hinge shoulders and elbows, ball hinge wrist, ball hinge torso, so little hips, ball hinge knees, and ball hinge ankles, and he does have. Um, holes in the feet so you can stand on pegs but you know every clone trooper pretty much every figure has that now so I'll give you one last look at him he is of course the commander of 41st elite legion you all probably know that already so. okay here's a look at the packaging uh, image of him so, here's the back, the figure posed, screen capture still from Bombad Jedi, rest of the wave, and I'll read to you from the back. It says, Commander Gree, this clone commander leads the elite corps uh, and serves under Jedi General Yoda during the Clone Wars. His armor bears the distinct markings of the 41st Elite Corps, a unit Gree is nicknamed Green Company. So, yeah. He's Clone Wars number 9. and I also kind of heard, I'm not sure if this is true, that this Commander or Commander Gree is actually kind of rare. Um, Not rare, but, you know, more hard to find than the rest of the wave. And there was only one at the target I picked it up from. So, yeah. So, I guess that's uh, about it. So, until my next review, keep collecting. And yeah, bye bye.